My name is Ivan Polyanov, and I'm a head of front-end development at Nginx Amplify. As a front-end developer, I often work with images, and today I'm going to tell you how Nginx can help you with it. Previously, images were the only way of transferring information via hypertext. Now there, there's video as well, but images still remain important for all of us. Even old image formats like GIF <laughs> have a second life. Usually, as engineers, we often have to solve tasks related to storing, transferring, and uh, processing images. Today, I am going to show how to create simple image processing microservice and using only Nginx and show how you can optimize it. Let's see together what should be our attention as engineers when working with images on the web. First one is quality. Everything is clear with it, but, but it, it is not interesting for anyone to look at the pixelized pictures. Second, size of the images. This is clear as well. Smaller size is better. And third, image generation speed. Unfortunately, the first two points depend on each other, and when we are working on optimizing one, we degrade the opposite. As a simple example, we will build a service that will facilitate our routine operation, and after that, we will study the performance and optimization. Let's look at a typical online store. Millions of products have dozens of photos, and it's usually necessary to adapt one photo to different sections of, of the site. For example, catalog, product page, and shopping cart. It's usually not very convenient to have one image in different sizes because often it is necessary to quickly replace one image with another. In this case, when we store a picture with several sizes, we need to remember this and replace them too. In this case, dynamic resizing can help us. And as engineers, we recommend our users to use the image filter module for this proposals. This model provides two options, resize and crop. To work with images, the model uses the traditional libgd library that also is used by PHP. libgd in turn use your system libpng and libspec libraries to work with a specific format. Let, let's look at the basic configuration. That's it. The way the image filter works is simple. You describe the location in which you want to serve pictures and configure the image filter directive. Thus, all requests that will be passed to this location will be resized into 200 by 200 pixels. We can describe the location which will give each picture the right size for each section of the site which is exactly what we need. Should be noted that the above configuration is simple but not secure, since it allows all to someone to ask pictures in different sizes, and that can be a denial of service attack. Therefore, it's better to describe the location explicitly, not allowing attackers to play with hate and with. Simple regrets. Uh, it should be remembered that Nginx uses an asynchronous service model for incoming connection, and this means that while one worker is busy with the work of resizing the image, it will not serve the already established connections and will not accept new ones. From here, there is a risk that if all running workers are busy processing images, your site will become unavailable. Therefore, our image processing service must be run in such a way that it does not interfere with the processing of basic requests to the site. It is better to have separate service for, for this, but in principle, to handle a small load, you can run Nginx on a not standard, standard port that can be proxied from your my, uh, main Nginx frontend. It is important not to forget about caching. Without caching, you will recite the same pictures again and again. 
This way, you will not obtain any profit from transferring work with images to Nginx. Now that we have figured out uh, the original configuration, let's optimize it. And I want to start with WebP. WebP is an image format uh, developed by Google. WebP fairly differs from JPEG. And as a spoiler, I will say that the result is staggering. Lately, the noise around it has subsided, and unfortunately, many high-load websites ignore it because it's not fully supported by all browsers. But a year ago, since Nginx version 1, 11, and 6, image filter model learned how to work with WebP, and let's see what benefit we can get with its help. I took a series of images of different resolutions from Wikipedia and converted them into WebP. Next, I resized these images using the proposed image filter configuration. For simplicity, I took the final image sizes equals 500 by 300 pixels. As you can see, the size of VP and images with the same quality is much smaller. With my images, average image size in WebP is less than JPEG by 30%. I recommend it I recommend using it so that you can get amazing results. Next, JPEG. JPEG is the main format for images in the modern web. It is major, but it's often the case with all technologies. The implementation of this technology is not ideal. The main implementation of JPEG encoding algorithms is the JPEG library. And uh, as I said earlier, when image filter works with JPEG images, it works specific, specifically with JPEG, LibJPEG. For JPEG format, image filter gives only one quality control directive. It's called image filter JPEG quality. And only with its help, you can somehow affect the quality and size of resultant image. But there are a couple of possibilities. In addition to the original LibJPEG, there are now replacements for it and in general, they give a good benefit. First one is LibJPEG Turbo. LibJPEG Turbo library is a drop-in replacement for LibJPEG. The purpose of the, of the library is to give faster method for encoding and decoding images, which is achieved by using modern instructions, instructions of modern processors. It is stated that LibJPEG Turbo up to six times faster than traditional LibJPEG on modern hardware. And today we will know it for sure. I, it's worth, not, it's worth not, nothing that LibSpec Turbo is used in Firefox and Google Chrome. Second library is MozSpec. The library is optimized for modern platforms, supported and developed by Mozilla Foundation. MozSpec is a fork of LibSpec Turbo and inherited the best from it, but added many file size optimization. I measured the speed of these libraries and compared the size of files that I got as a result. I did measurements with the same images that I used with the WebP test. I rebuilt libgd library with libspec turbo and most spec for that. I want to note that I compiled the library themselves without options and any advanced optimization for platform. I run tests on my laptop, so on other platforms, the features may differ. From the test result, I received two metrics, image processing time and image size. The quality of the resulting images is difficult to check but all measurements I did with the 85% JPEG quality. So let's start with LibJPEG Turbo. Nice slide. <laughs> As a front-end developer, I was interested in the size of the resulting images, but I was disappointed. Although, although I did not have any illusions, I hope at least for some decrease in size. As it turned out, when using LibJPEG Turbo instead, instead LibJPEG, there is no decrease at all. Let's now take a look at the graph of image processing time compared to the original LibJPEG. As can seen 
as can be seen from the graph, the, the use of Lipschpeck Turbo gives a significant performance gain. On pictures that I had, Lipschpeck is on average 24 percent lower than Lipschpeck Turbo. Thus, using Lip, Lip, Lipschpeck Turbo saves you one of fifth of your resources, but doesn't give you any winnings in the sites of res, resulting image, images. Initially, Moschpeck is the fork of Lipschpeck Turbo, and I expected a gain in both processing time and in size as in case of Lipschpeck Turbo. But the here situation is opposite. As can be seen from the graph, I got noticeable win in processing speed only for large images. If not for these huge images, the difference will be insignificant, something like 3%. Speaking of size optimization, everything is much better. As you can see, the average image size difference is approximately 20%. Let's summarize. As you could see from the slides, it is always useful to use Lipschpeck Turbo or Morschpeck as a replacement for Lipschpeck. If speed processing of your images is important to you, you can use Lipschpeck Turbo. If you're interested in size optimization, it is better to use Morschpeck, but most likely your source images will be larger, and so you can get also performance gain. <clears throat> and finally, about the new encoder of images from Google called Gessly. Gessly is not a replacement of Lipschpeck. And accordingly, you cannot use it in Nginx. Third-party utility optimizes the size of the image. Generally, Gessly is very slow and very greedy for your CPU. On the GitHub project page, there is a warning that it uses up to 300 megabytes of memory and one minute of CPU for each one megapixel of image. In my talk, is more for academic interest than for real use. I encoded original images with Gessly, and that's what I got. Images that I encoded with Gessly were down uh, by 17% in file size. But no, unlike the, uh, unlike the previous slide, there are not seven images, but six. I wasn't able to complete the resizing of the last huge image, it just hung. Gessly is extremely slow, but if you, if you have spare time, you can get file size optimization for your images. Let's sum. <clears throat> Sometimes it is useful to look around and see a replacement for something old. We have Chpec, but in some cases you can use WebP instead of Chpec and reduce the size of your images significantly. We have Lipspec library, but you can choose something like most Chpec and have benefit. And don't be afraid to experiment, and you will come to something better. Thank you. If, if, if you have questions, you can ask me maybe now or later. I have a question it's slightly related to this, but it's also slightly not. Um, it's in relation to image optimization, but done automatically, like. Uh, so, the conversion to web people, um, rather uh, than... We, we, are go we, we was going to do it in the image filter, but I have a patch from... It's, it's not public, but I can give you this patch. Okay. And this patch introduces a new directive like image filter transform. Okay. And, and you, you can do it with uh, like image filter transform, and uh, you can... You can apply this mode uh, based on uh, accept hero, for, for example. Okay. Ask me, and I will send you. But you, you, you have to rebuild your Nginx with this patch. Uh, 
does image filter support any sort of uh, facial detection or zoning in on a certain part of the image, like the top or the center? Like uh, so, uh, again. What image filter, when you resize, you tell it to resize the image? Uh -huh. Is there any way to instruct it to focus on a certain part of the image, uh, on the center yeah. or by facial feature? Or, uh, you, you, can do, you can do it with crop. Crop, okay. yeah. So, um, so for the incoming con connections from di different devices, like Chrome or um, Apple or mm -hmm. uh, Android, does, does this fil uh, filter automatically uh, resize the image for different devices? Uh, no, but you, but you can map your, uh, for example, your uh, uh, user agent to variables. You, you, can, you can write uh, regex in map uh, and catch some devices and map the, this device to width var variable and height variable. It's, it's like a solution. And other questions? Thank you. <laughs>